Benue killings. Benue, you disappointed at Atiku's condolence message to Benue's people. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Benue Youth Forum. BYF has expressed disappointment over the condolence message to Benue people by the Presidential Democratic Party PDP President, presidential candidate Alhaji Atiku Abubakar. The youth group in a statement signed by its president, Terence Kwanum, said Atiku has justified the killings by describing it as sustained clashes between farmers and herders as an intercommunal violence. The statement reads, and I quote, The Beno Youth Forum BYF is saddened and disappointed with an unfortunate message credited to the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, in which he simply urinated on the graves of scores of people recently murdered by Flani Hertzman in Ukum local government area of Benue State. Alhaji Atiku in the state went on his verified Twitter handle, clandestinely justified the killings of Benue people in their sleep, claiming that the heinous acts were due to what he described as sustained clashes between farmers and herders. That a People Democratic Party presidential candidate tagged the dastardly killing of children, women, and the aged in their sleep as escalation of intercommunal violence, clearly heightened the suspicion as to his level of insensitivity and complicity of the incident attacks on Benue communities. Equally sad and irresponsible as the comments by Al Haji Atiku that suggest that the killings in Benue State were occasioned by lack of inclusion. An integration of people into communities where they live, work, pay taxes, and raise their children. Al Haji Atiku also stated clearly that it is one, it is only by including and integrating people into communities that will make them obligated to reciprocate the love, acceptance, meaning the Fulani must be given lands to grace freely before people could enjoy peace. Also worrisome is Al Haji Atiku's veiled insinuation. That it may be no loss of life in the incident after all. As I said, my deepest condolences to the families that, that may have lost loved ones and to the people and government of Benue State. It is not surprising that Alahaji Atiku, who has not hidden his hatred for Governor, Governor Samuel Otum for his autumn resilience towards ensuring that Benue people do not surrender their lands to cattle breeders, has never really been sincere in condemning the issue, especially as his kinsmen are known to be behind the killings, maiming, destruction of property, and displacement of innocent villagers from their communities. That it took the man who claims to be a friend of the TV race almost four days to react to the sexist killings in Benway is a testament that was simply to laugh at the victims and to mock those who love loved ones in the carnage. The Benway used forum therefore calls on Al Haji Atiku to be sensitive to the plight of the people as against his current show of love towards only the Fulanese, as he is expected to prove that he would be a leader of a country and not a Fulani president if voted into power. The Benue Youth Forum is utterly disappointed with Al Haji Atiku's attitude of seeing those who refuse to surrender their land to his king's men for categorizing as enemies. Alahaji Atiku may take delight in the fact that his Fulani brothers are having a few day without resistance, but he has to be aware that posterity will not spare him as no evil shall ever go unpunished. The firm warns the People Democratic Party presidential flag bearer, who presents himself as a unifier to come out clear on his plans and strategy to tackle the incessant killing of people in Benue if elected or forget the votes of Benue people in next year's election. We also reiterate our call on the TV traditional council to strip Al Haji Atiku the chastity title of Zege Muleu TV since he has not shown signs to indicate that he deserves to be seen as a shelter for the TV people. Hmm. Now, you see, eh? Do you know that this insecurity in Benue State is not always reported in the news? Do you know that I never heard that there was a clash? If I tell you that for every news that makes it to the media space, there is five, as in for one news you read, there are five news being swept under the carpet, consciously swept, oh, this one is not uh, by mistake, consciously swept under the carpet, 
so that the people of Nigeria no go know what they go on. And yet we keep asking the question, why we say Benue states no get this one? Why you no get that one? Now I make you they see. Insecurity, as in without security in a place, without peace in a place, there cannot be development. In fact, it will be as if you they waste your money. Just be like say your house they burn, you they build house on top of the one we born. Now now waste now. What did they do? Atiku and Buhari are all the same. They're sponsors of Mieti and ah, why they call Mieti and La? <laughs> yes, they are full and neat sponsors. Of course, we have this uh, particular administration has proven to us beyond reasonable doubt that they are not willing to come out and, you know, talk against or speak against or condemn the evil of this full and neat killings all the time. They have given us the 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 kind of they have given us the type of, you know, they have not given us faith that this is what it. In fact, they have acted as if these people didn't do for their back. Yes, now. There's a particular news I read and it's like, the government said they're behind these people. And I'm like, now they shake my head and no. This country, this country, no be them at all. If, sincerely. Article is not different from Buhari when it comes to the issues of the Fulanese. Nigerians be wise. If not, we may get another Buhari government extension. Okay, foolish people are not reasoning so because of political post. May God disgrace any greedy person working for Atiku to replace Buhari. May he pay with his blood. May he cry the cry of Southern Kaduna, Benwe, Plateau, Taraba, Niger people. Some people are not going to see. Some people will call it a propaganda. Imagine calling the killing of lives propaganda. Now God will help us for this part of the world, though, sincerely. Now God will go help us. All right. But wait, so how can any sensible person who abhors policies of exclusion, nepotism, and Islamist agenda of the Fulani people think of voting for another Fulani after eight years of a jihadist Fulani government of Buhari? To me and a lot of sensible Nigerians, there is putting a permanent seal of triumph and domination of the Fulani people over the rest of the country, God forbid. It is... <laughs> My own be saying, make and I take all this in our frustration and leave all this be big English. Take your frustrations and anger to the polls. Now come as I can't write plenty talk, I know go go vote. So. Ha. Make sure you are vote and not just coming out to vote. You are voting your conscience. You are voting out bad governance. You are voting out insecurity. And see, we are supposed to start holding these people more accountable. Meaning, say, me have even given a this thing. You know, as the second, third, the second, third year, the person is not even supposed to complete four years tenure. If the person is not showing signs saying don't they work, we know they feel relief for some areas. Ha. Now, if we say that person will show and back though, yes, we can do it. And the only way we can do it is to make sure we pick people who generally want to work. Because when you put people who generally want to work, they are going to work because they know that the people who put them can remove them anytime if they don't perform well. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen.